Well, welcome back. Kenan Thompson has been making us laugh for decades. He what? first made it. Yes. Oh. When he made a splash when he was just a little kid in the yeah. 90s classic like D2, <laughs> the Mighty Ducks and Nickelodeons, <laughs> all that. Today, Kenan's the longest running member of SNL in its history, and he's pulling back the curtain. He's got a new personal project, a memoir. It's called When I Was Your Age, Life Lessons, Funny Stories, and Questionable <laughs> Parenting Advice from a Professional Clown. Yeah. All right. Hi. Hi. Okay. How are you you, doing? you Good put morning. your life out there. I did. I had to tell the whole story from A to Z. Did you? How much of your life, your real life, is in that book? Um, I'm in a, a 99%. Yeah. I yeah. Think. It's like, you? It, it's a, yeah. It's all me. I mean, you were a childhood star. You started when you were five years old. And I did. there are many, many kids who don't t live to tell the tale, <laughs> or at least professionally don't, yeah. to talk about how they made it to the other side. How were you Ooh, able. <laughs> I'M LOOKING AT THE BACK OF MY HAIR. <laughs> HOW WERE YOU ABLE TO um, NAVIGATE THOSE WATERS AND WIND UP HERE? LOOK AT YOU. Mm -hmm. YEAH. Um, I'M IN CLOSE FAMILY. YOU KNOW, I'M yeah. LOOKING BACK AT THESE PICTURES AND THAT WAS LIKE AN ERA IN, YOU KNOW, COLLEGE PARK, ATLANTA. YOU KNOW WHAT I MEAN? AND LIKE VERY, VERY CLOSE Look TO MY you. FAMILY. Is so that, ARE THOSE KIDS ALL YOUR lucky. AGE? Um, <laughs> THEY WERE MY AGE BECAUSE I WAS VERY SHORT a FOR A LONG TIME. A YEAH, I WAS yeah. A LITTLE SMALL KID DID for THAT a while. BOTHER YOU WHEN YOU WERE LITTLE? No, it didn't yeah. bother me until like sports became a thing. Yeah, and everybody became like giants, and I was still little. <laughs> well, when you're younger, you're trusting, and uh, you mm -hmm. were very trusting when you started off in your career, and you were making some money, and you had an accountant. I'm still very trusting. Okay, you know? so but yeah, had, there was a, a was you know account. a bad accountant yeah. or whatever. Kind of so thing. you talk about this in the book, which I think is interesting. Mm -hmm. You made your first million, and the guy basically took it. Yeah, but I mean, I never saw it. So yeah, it was you know a process of like. Here's a debit card, you know what I mean? And like, yeah. make sure you do your little like so monthly did, budgeting kind of thing or whatever. And then all of a sudden, did you ever I wanted to make a big decision. It was gone. It was gone. Yeah. Did you ever confront him or whatever happened to him? Oh, yeah, I confronted him. And mm -hmm. then, you know, he kind of just went into the wind or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, the biggest thing was like, you know, the IRS coming after you because they don't, you know, they don't necessarily have to deal with what the actual story is. All they wanted yeah. their money kind of thing. Yeah, so, sure. That was tough, but you know I made it through and by the grace back, of God. You went back to trusting again after this. this I'm guy? very trusting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not everybody is a crook. You know. Uh, what I, mean? yeah. I think that's good. Um, we had you and Kel on the couch the other day because um, your new movie and all the great things, and I didn't know. Maybe everyone else did that. You guys had had a falling out that you that you talk about too in your book. Which this yeah. was this I was mean, for years. Yeah, it was more of a separation that kind of grew into you know the. Traditional terms of what a falling out is, what which happened? is like not a lot of communication. Yeah. Um, originally, it was just us, you know, kind of looking for our own individualism, yeah. basically as adults, and kind of just taking a breather from, you know, being a duo, um, because we both came into the game as you know individuals, and you know we were placed together because we worked so well together yeah. and all that. And um, yeah, it was just the journeys of being adults, and then you know, time passes and more time passes, and it just became ridiculous, and You're we were like. like Sometimes you Whatever. don't even. We didn't even know. You exactly. don't remember, don't remember why remember you were fighting. What it was, and then, you know, I apologize. He, but whatever you made it was. The phone call. We played. For, I think I called and we played phone tag for like a day or something like and that. And tell or me about and the because when you have a falling out and you finally get in contact again, how was that? When you phone have call? a real friendship, yeah. it was five minutes into the phone call we were You're back. Back like, to It yourselves. was like what were we waiting on all this time? But like you know, you just never really know until you actually have that talk. Basically. And by the way, that's a good life lesson. I think a lot of people are in feuds and they don't even remember the genesis of it. And yeah. they're still not talking. And it's also, you know, time wasted, which is one of the biggest crimes I think you can do in sure. life. It's just sure. waste time, you know? So it feels so good to be back with my brother and, like, the movie's doing well. Yeah. We're so appreciative, you know what I mean? And, like, I mean, looking forward to the next chapters. You talk a little bit about your divorce, not much. Mm -hmm. Was there a reason why you didn't want to go there too much? Well, I mean, I also didn't really want to speak out of turn on people who aren't there to tell yeah. their version of the sure, story as well. Sure. So I just kind of told my perspective. And basically. you talk about being a girl dad, and I can tell that's that's really the love of your life right there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They're they're my daily focus outside of myself. But um, <laughs> They are definitely my, my sweethearts, and, you know, they're off to school this morning, so they're already in class, but, mm. yeah, I love them. And um, Saturday Night Live, again, you're the longest-running cast member by, by, by far. Yeah, it's, it's getting mean, up there. Do you ever <laughs> see yourself spending your Saturday nights anywhere else? Honestly, I don't really know. Like, what's more exciting when, you know, SNL is having a moment, like, you know, Emma Stone last week was so dynamic and <laughs> so, so amazing. funny, right? And um, you know, it was just like incredible to watch a performer like that because she inspires us. I mean, we do a lot of characters and sketches and this, mm -hmm. that, and the other, but 
She never half committed to anything. And I watched her read 50 sketches. Wow. Well, the SNL writers always say they love when you are in their sketch because they know even if the writing doesn't really hit the mark, your look will always do the trick. <laughs> that's the, that's the so? one. That's the one. <laughs> Keenan, good luck with this book. Good luck Thanks. with everything. Oh, good luck I to love you. you. Good luck I love to you. you. I love you, too. All Thank right. you for having me. Again, this book is called When I Was Your Age. It's out tomorrow. For more about it, head to today.com slash books. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.